Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio. I love technology. Hopefully you do too. And thank you so much today for joining me as we look at the M1 MacBook Pro. Super excited because we're gonna be opening up one of these MacBook M1s. Of course, M1 is the processor that is now inside of the newer Macs. Older Macs used to be the Intel processors. Newer ones are now M1, which are an Apple custom built CPU, which is super exciting. And uh, we're gonna be opening it up and just setting it up. Just a basic unboxing and then the basic setup. Should be a very quick, easy, fun video and hopefully you like it. So here it is, the M1 Mac. Now this one is a MacBook Air. We've just got it, and we're just about to open it up. So with the unboxing of the beautiful new Mac, uh, all we're gonna do is just turn it on and just do a basic setup and a basic configuration on the Mac. We're not transferring data, we're not making it look exactly how we want. You can go and do that later. This is just really start to finish, set up, turn on the Mac, and then get you logged in. Like other MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, MacBooks, you've got yourself your charger, your cable, and some Apple stickers. Of course, these are nice new gray sort of stickers, silver stickers, as opposed to standard white stickers. They look great. So here it is, the beautiful MacBook Air. So this is a 13-inch MacBook. This is the space gray. It's nice and thin, looks beautiful. It's got a 13.3 inch backlit display. Uh, it's also got the M1 chip inside of it, which is an eight core chip. It's got the eight gig of RAM, and this one's got the 256 gig SSD hard drive. Headphone speaker jack on one side. On the other side, we've got a couple of USB-C ports. We can run USB-C devices, and even with adapters, you can plug in screens and you can power it and everything like that right from those two ports. Nice big trackpad, your backlit magic keyboard, and here it is, turned on, ready to go. Select your relevant country. I'm based in Australia. You can set some accessibility options now or later. These are essentially features that help you adapt your Mac to your individual needs, but you can do this now, you can do this later by going into the system preferences, but we're gonna just select not now. You now need to enter in a Wi-Fi password. Of course, your Mac now needs internet access to activate and continue the process. So connect it to a valid Wi-Fi network in your house, in your business, and then click on join. You need to accept some data and privacy conditions right there. Now the migration assistant is a great feature built into the Mac that lets you transfer data from an existing Mac, from a time machine backup, uh, or even from a Windows PC. So if you've got existing data that you wanna transfer over, you can do this from here. In our case, we're setting up this Mac from scratch. So we're not gonna be doing this. We're gonna say not now, but it's a great option if you don't wanna start from scratch and transfer data. You now sign in with your Apple ID. So if you don't have an Apple ID, you need to create one. You can say create new Apple ID right here. If you do have an Apple ID, uh, if you've got an existing account of some sort with Apple, you input that email into here, you'll then input the password, and then essentially you're connecting this Mac to your Apple ID. In our case, we'll just set up later and we'll skip this process just for now. You've got some terms and conditions. If you're happy with those, you can agree. And now you create your computer account. Now this is all dependent on if you have signed in with Apple ID or not. You now create in your username, your password, a hint if you so want to, and that'll now create a profile for our user here, John Smith. Here are some settings that I would just leave as default. Let the Mac do its thing. You can customize these later, but we're gonna select continue. Analytics, so do you wanna be able to send information to the developers, letting them know when things are going wrong? So you can share the crash reports. Otherwise, you can just select continue and leave that unchecked. Screen time is a great feature that lets you uh, set timers and things like that against how much time is used on the Mac. You get weekly reports, passcodes, all this sort of stuff. So this is great if you have kids, for example, um, or if you just wanna have limitations around your screen time. And then of course, Siri, which is built right into the Mac. You can have Siri on here, so you can control elements of your Mac. So we're gonna enable Ask Siri and select Continue. You now get your Mac to recognize your voice. So just follow the instructions on the screen. 
recognizing your voice, giving those commands, and then select continue to go through all of that section. You can do this later if you so choose to. Now, some of these audio commands that you're using Siri can be recorded. So you can say not now or share audio recordings. Either of those two, you select the one that's right for you. We now set up the Touch ID. So of course, this particular MacBook Air, it's not relevant to every computer, but you can do your fingerprint on your actual top right and get your Mac to recognize your finger so that you can unlock it just from putting your finger onto that trackpad. So the Mac has a light theme or a dark theme. If you like it light, if you like it dark, if you want it to be auto, so it automatically changes as the time changes. Similar to other Apple devices, you have this thing called True Tone Display, where if you're, say, outside, if you're in a darker space, your screen's brightness essentially adjusts based on the actual light. And we are in. Initial setup complete. You can go and customize this later. So there's the Mac set up, ready to go. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, do what you need to do by liking, commenting, subscribing. Check out some of my other videos as well if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.